I love the fact that I can make so many people happy from telling my story and sharing a bit about myself and where my art comes from. In 2011, when I was diagnosed with brain cancer, so I discovered uh, I had three tumours, which had, this is how I lost my sight and became legally blind. At the age of 11, it was really hard for me to express to anyone how I was feeling, how dark and horrible and scared it was feeling, finding out that you just had brain cancer and you had like 11 doctors around you. So art was my way back then of expressing through uh, like a Nico pen and a dark lead pencil, uh, like really heavy sketches and robots and dragons and everything, really dark, horrible pictures. A lot has changed and I found that I've made a transition of my way through dark, really intense pictures into more vibrant um, life pictures. For me, I set up just like anyone else would set up. I'd get out my brushes, my paints, my everything, my easel, have everything set up the way I need it to be set up. And I start painting and I get, I mean, when I am painting, I'm writing close, so I'm most of the time getting paint on my nose, I'm that close. So I have to get writing close, but I, it, to me, it's it's now natural. It's the way I feel like I have been painting from all along, you know. It was more starting off with a smartphone, just going down, taking photos of the sunrise, and I loved it because not being able to see that well, but when it comes to a camera, being able to zoom in, uh, take the photo, zoom in on the back of the screen, or view it on a bigger computer, it, it enables me to see greater things that I can't normally see. For instance, I've got like a kit lens macro, so I can zoom into little plants and animals and stuff, and I can see stuff that I've been told not even the natural eye can see. So photography, apart from being able to capture beautiful colours um, for the sunrises and really rich tones, it's also a way of enhancing um, what I can't see. Quite a bit of my memory was affected from the cancer. So I'll look back on photos, and I know it all looks to everyone, photos are memories, but for me, I look back at them and they bring back such a big smile because it's one photo will bring back a thousand memories of where I've been or what that photo meant to me, you know. I still live with my mum, my little brother, and my stepfather, Trevor, and um, I get lots and lots of support through them. Mum is like my all-time carer. She, she helps me so much. I've also got my little brother, Maxwell, um, and he is amazing. You know, if, I, if I'm out with him anywhere, he helps me with the stairs or he'll run ahead to check if there's anything ahead or he's always so caring and I wouldn't be here today without my family.